some reasons to appreciate the Harpy. I don't think this is going to be a popular build for her, but it's got some potential, especially later in the game. Um, this links two people together. Anytime one or the other is hit, the other one will counterattack. So it's kind of unique. So you compare her with a very strong monster. You can build her tanky, pair her with a very strong offensive monster, um, bait for them to hit your harpy, and then your strong monster counterattacks. That could be useful, and especially considering uh, Siren's Wings. Again, it, it looks a little bit garbage because you want her to be at full health generally. You don't want her to be low, but even at full health, that 20% speed lead is pretty good, especially to, to bleed more and to get your counter up more. Um, but as you lose health, you're going to get more speed, and the extra stacks seem kind of weird. Um, but when she's max, uh, so when you skill her up a little bit, if she's at 50% health, or if she's at below 50% health, uh, that's a 70% speed lead before she's hasted. That's that's a whole lot of turns. If she's below 20% health, which is really dangerous, you really don't want her below 20% health, but she's got double speed. Uh, she gets a base of 20% speed, an additional 10% for every 10% of HP she loses. That's got some potential there. I think the more popular build is going to be combining her heals together because you're not going to see a lot of other heroes with this much healing, this much consistent healing capability. There's the guy that heals every time he crits, and then there's the Firefox that heals based on her damage, but that's not a whole lot of heal, and you need more stats for it. With this one, she just you can just build her fast and survivable, and she has a 15% AoE heal every four turns once you skill her up, and a 30% AoE heal every four turns. So it's two heals every four turns. This one comes with a pretty decent energy boost. That one comes with a resist crit rate. Um, that's that's both really good. That can be useful in PvP. You can build her really fast, which is going to be really easy with her high base speed um, and whatnot, and use her as a speed booster. Um, and it wastes the heal, but eh, that's okay. Um, or you can use her in PvE as just a consistent heal over time. The one I'm actually more interested in right now is the Siren's Blessing. Being able to reduce all allies' cooldowns by one turn every four turns can be huge depending on your team comp and your turn order. Um, I won't go into the possibilities because there are too many to name, but there's a lot of them. Uh, one thing is this haste is broken. Uh, they're going to have to change something about it because it says it's a one-turn haste every six turns to start off with, but it goes up to one turn haste every four turns, but that's not how it works. In game, it's a two turn haste, and a two turn haste every four turns is a lot better than a one turn haste every six turns. So a lot of people are underestimating how useful that can be because they're going with the Windwalker, and I don't like the Windwalker. I'm not gonna build the Windwalker. I'm gonna build the Harpy because the Harpy is prettier. Okay, bye.